Hello, it's Guy here from GD Book Models. Today I'm going to be doing the next stage of the Rifle Tiger Tank. Um, I'll show you what I've done since the last build. Here it is. It's pretty much finished now, to be honest with you. Um, it was just a few little bits at the top, the like cables. These are metal cables as well. And a bit of photo etch here, here and here. And all these little, like, really tiny little pincy bits that uh, obviously make all the difference um, I've put the decals on I had to let them dry for 24 hours because it's over Zimmer and Zimmer it's not the easiest to put decals over um, but they're okay you've got I haven't weathered it properly yet but you've got a few uh, tools down here and a lot of tools that actually under there and You've got the light there, which I've still got to put the brown on it, just to tie it in with the camouflage. Got the emblem there of the uh, division, I guess. Um, the decals here as well. They're a bit crunched stuff. I didn't notice that before. Um, with the German... Uh, symbol there So it's mostly done now. It's as I said, it's been probably the best built build kit I've ever built And it's my first tank. So it's not bad. I'm happy with it um, But today I'll put that to one side because we're actually not using that at the moment What I'll be doing today Is This these are the tracks. It's only going to be a very quick video today, but I've already done four parts. You've got to do 96 of these each side, so that counts as one link. You've got to do 96, and then you've got these little teeth that you've got to glue in as well. I won't be putting the teeth on today because I'm just going to be doing up to this stage. I'm going to build up to this stage, and then... Um, I'm going to join them all together, 96 of them, and then put all the links in then, the teeth in then. So, I actually think it's an awesome way of making tracks. I will show you, it's quite quick as well, which is awesome as well. Um, I'm just trying to think of something that can raise it up so I can show you because it's got to be on a flat surface. Right, so all we need to do here is we've got the... These are all... I spent two hours this morning taking all the... smoothing them all out and the other bits. So you've got these which are the tracks, these which are the pins in there, get two different types you get number ones and number twos and in here you've got the teeth so it's a it's not tricky at all it's 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 not tricky it's just boring <laughs> um but if you notice here you've got a little kink in it i'm gonna actually move it see if i can zoom in better so you can see it better. There we go. So, as I said, you've got these that kink in the middle there. So what you want to do, is that lines up with this recess. And you want this bumpy bit facing away from you. So you just literally put it in there like that. And you just bring it. Um, wait a sec. No, sorry, it's this way around. Got the bumpy bit facing you. I should know by now, I've done about 40 of them already this morning. So, put that in there like that. Then obviously you've got the recesses there. And this just, just keep working them forward. You've got four dots on there where the teeth go as well. They all go on your right hand side. So just keep going down. These are all the same shape. I'm 
like that. But it's vital that you, um, any barbs or anything on the plastic, make sure you um, cut them off because otherwise it's going to not join together properly. As I said, this is, it's not hard, it's just tedious. You just sort of lose a will when you're doing these trust. I just keep going until there's one groove left, so I'm just counting only two more. And the final one, like that. Now, from brightly, you've got, I've got to do it around a certain way. So the two dots, the four dots are on this side, away from the camera. And you want to get these little genius inventions. I think these are awesome. Right, so you've got four pins on each one. These are twos, as you can see here, number two. And all I do is run a bit of super glue on the head of the bolts, like that. And then they push into the um, side bits. I just got to cut these bits off quickly. Just the edges, so you can put them all in. Right, okay, so what you want to do now is just repeat this process with the twos. I'll turn it around so you can see. You've got, you see the four holes, the, the round holes? You literally just Put a them in. Like that. And then finally, the last four. I always put one too many down. And turn it around and then the same again but with the ones that are number ones number ones are slightly different to number twos number ones are slightly longer so if you're just wondering why do I need does it matter if ones or twos go in a different way around yes it does number ones are longer than number twos so same again just push them in with a bit, I, I, it's said, I have tried it without putting glue on it, but you do need to put glue on the heads. If you don't, they do fall out. And then finally, the last lot. And that one goes. In the final. Holes there. But you don't put anything in this end hole. Until you join the parts together. So you just get the. Get that out of the way. And then you've got. A set of tracks. Now you just literally. Snap them off. Come on. Sometimes they're a bit of a pain to snap off. And 
Okay, so that one. Uh, sometimes this happens, which is annoying. Didn't put enough glue on one pin, so when I tried to snap it off, it came along. So just literally hold it in. Done. And there you go. That's one length of track. So it's pretty cool. And then the only other thing I'd have to do is get those teeth and run them um, down along where those holes are. And then that'll be all. Um, and then you just join them up and then that's it. And then I think you, I've got to paint, spray them up and that. But other than that, that's that video. Next time will be the actual finished review of the Tiger Tank. So I hope you've enjoyed this build and found this useful. Um, other than that, have a great day, happy modelling and goodbye for now.